I see that you're trying to decide if you want to be an optometrist or maybe a physical therapist. Now, these two healthcare professions are definitely in two kind of different fields, but they're both in healthcare. And for the most part, if you're a high achiever and you want more for yourself, you're going to be looking in the healthcare field and you decided, hmm, do I want to be an optometrist and see the future? Or do I want to be a physical therapist and rehabilitate people back to their prior level of function? So in this video, we are going to compare and contrast both of those professions in five different categories. Job duties, schooling, how much schooling is, so tuition, work environment, and salary and job outlook. So let's get into this Lego. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. Since you're watching this video, I'm sure you're interested in comparing and contrasting different professions, whether it's PT, OT, AT, right? Uh, whatever it may be, I have so many. Um, I do have a playlist that compares physical therapy and different professions. So feel free to check that out. Okay, so optometry. What do they exactly do? Obviously, you're like, okay, well, I know optometrists check out the eyes and I get some kind of glasses or maybe I do my insurance, I get some free sunglasses, right? But what do they actually do? So the job duties are optometrists are evaluating and diagnosing different eye conditions and diseases, right? They perform comprehensive eye and vision tests. Like you've seen that big thing. I don't even know what that name is. And you go, does this look better or does this look better? Right? And of course, like they want to check how far you're looking at. So they say they have you stay a certain feet apart and say, okay, read the lines and then read the letters all the way down to the bottom. And of course, you're so embarrassed when one eye is worse than the other. You're like, I can't freaking read that. And it's so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because my eyes are so small and I don't have a clear vision, but uh, that's just me. <laughs> Um, they do prescribe medicine, especially um, if it's related for the eyes, and they prescribe uh, glasses and contacts and maybe some other things like color contacts, right? Um, they do visual rehabilitation too, which is which I thought was super cool. So maybe um, one, you know, there's muscles in the eye that help control you move left, right, up, down, circular, circular, and stuff like that. So they help rehab those areas and those muscles so that you can have a clearer vision as far as what you're trying to look at. And lastly, um, you know, these types of things and if, if optometry, optometrists do have the extra education, then they can definitely do surgery for different types of diseases or injuries. Um, depending on the state, it's always different and you always want to recheck with your scope of practice. Um, but surgery might be indicated for maybe tears, drainage, uh, foreign body removals, laser privileges, and things of that nature. All right, so physical therapy, of course you know so much about physical therapy because you've been watching my videos on my channel and this is all about physical therapy. But for those of you who are just joining in and watching this video, physical therapists can help diagnose and evaluate different types of movement disorders and injuries. They utilize different techniques like manual therapy where you're maybe doing some kind of soft tissue mobilization or joint mobilizations. Uh, they do therapeutic exercise, meaning they exercise the patient um, or things like neuromuscular re-education, whether that's balance or making sure you're walking better through gait training. You know, they also do fitting for assistive devices, which no other profession does, whether that's for the wheelchair, single point cane, crutches, a quad cane, and things of that nature. Um, and lastly, all is all of this is to know that what we as physical therapists want to do is help the patient get back to their prior level of function. Once they're able to do the things or be independent to be on the progress to do the things that they used to do, they don't need our services anymore as physical therapists. So schooling. Now, both optometry and physical therapy both require a post doctorate degree but that means that you can go from your undergrad and go straight into the doctorate degree now for optometry school it's gonna be a total of eight years that's four years for undergrad and four years for the doctorate school of optometry now it's good to know that as of this video there are only 23 accredited schools that have optometry as their uh, degree 
So that means if there's a ton of students trying to apply for 23 schools, your chances are hard and it's way more competitive, right? Uh, so just keep that in mind. Physical therapy, on the other hand, it does take seven years. So four years for undergrad, three years for grad school, for doctorate school, and they have hundreds of accredited schools. So depending on what you're more passionate about, and depending if you want to try to get into whatever healthcare profession, um, that might be something worth looking into. All right, so let's talk about how much school actually costs. Now keep in mind, of course, this, there's gonna be so many variables, whether that's in-state, out-of-state, public, uh, private, and uh, you know, as time goes on, things might be different. But from the time that I researched this video, for optometry, for public school education, for all four years, it's gonna take, it's gonna cost about $60,000 for public school education. And for private school education, it's gonna cost about $110,000 or more. For physical therapy, for doctor to physical therapy school, for public school education, it's gonna cost about $55,000. And for private school education, it's gonna cost about $110,000. Now this is for everything, right? So the whole entire schooling. And remember, just like I mentioned, this is about an estimate. All right, so work environment. So optometrists will typically work in standalone offices. They're really not associated with hospitals. They're kind of a satellite location. And within that office, you'll have multiple optometrists as you probably experienced when you went in for your eye or vision checkup. Um, however, they do have their own private practices or standalone where they're just by themselves or maybe you might see them at some drugstores or Costco, right? Costco does have an optometry place as well. Now physical therapists have a little bit more variety as far as where they can work. They, of course, they have their hospital setting when that's inpatient and outpatient in the hospital. But also there are outpatient and rehab facilities. So um, maybe you might have your outpatient ortho, which you might have seen a lot. Um, sometimes they're working in the pool with aquatics therapy. Uh, sometimes they're working in, they have different types of machines where they are working with on vestibular, right? And things of that nature. Now, physical therapists can open up their own practice and they have a lot more opportunity, in my opinion, as far as how much more they can go to. And there's a lot more options versus optometry. You're just kind of limited to those standalone desks or standalone offices or Costco. All right, let's talk about money. <laughs> Now money is absolutely important and this is something you wanna consider and weigh out the options as far as what your salary is gonna be in compared to how much schooling is gonna be, how long is schooling and how much it's going to cost. Now for optometrists, well actually first things first, I just wanna let you know that I got these numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics and as of this video, these are what the numbers say. Now, optometrists will make an average median salary of $118,000 a year. The growth outlook, however, is only at a growth of 4%. 1, 2, 3, 4%. Physical therapists, on the other hand, have a median salary of $91,000 a year. However, their job outlook growth is at an 18%. So you can make their decision and go, hmm, well, 4% versus 18%, which one do I want to go to? Oh, you make more money here, but what are my availabilities um, when I actually graduate school? All right, so I hope this video helped inspire you make an educated decision as far as which healthcare field you want to get into. I totally understand if you choose one versus the other, but I'd love to hear it in the comments. Which one did you want to get into, optometry or physical therapy? Now, if you want me to compare and contrast different types of professions, I'd love to hear that in the comments below. I hear your feedback, I listen to your feedback, I read on your feedback. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Stay lifting, stay aloha. God bless, have a great one, you guys.